What's happening Hot Wheelers? Joe Motor 49 back with you here for a Sunday afternoon in early August uh, 2014 and um, I am still waiting on the box, my goodie box to myself from a little vacation haul I did and I'm really excited to show you the pieces I picked up there but it hasn't arrived yet so I thought I would uh, show you just a few little pieces I grabbed while hunting the other day and some mailbox finds that have come in um, over the past month or so, not very much, so <clears throat> um, starting off here with some cool classics I found another uh, Copo Camaro here it was at Toys R Us the other day and uh, picked up another Copo Camaro as well as this 70 Mus Ford Mustang Mach 1 um, if you haven't heard already, if you follow the blogs you've probably figured this out by now, but um, the cool classics line is coming to an end and it's going to be replaced with what they're calling the Heritage Series or the Heritage Line. And, um, uh, you know, it's bad news and good news. Um, the Cool Classics, I think, was a cool idea. Uh, no pun intended there, but it's, uh, you know, the Spectra Frost paint was a really, really unique thing. And the castings, I think, were pretty cool. Um, but it was pretty short lived, and I don't think collectors picked up on it as quickly and as, and what didn't become as popular as. Mattel had hoped for. I know these were popular with some collectors and I collected quite a few of them but I opened all of mine just because I enjoy the the uh, cars loose. I think they look a lot better out of the package but um, I think collectors you know for four bucks they were a little bit steep and you didn't get real riders. They were metal on metal of course but uh, these retro slots I don't think you know were that impressive to everybody so if you are into the cool classics, you may want to go pick them up because they're not going to be around much longer. We'll probably see quite a few of them on clearance or possibly at the dollar stores later this year. And it looks like they're going to be liquidating that line. Now the Heritage line, there's no pictures yet, but it seems like they're going to use some of the castings they had in store for the later cool classics assortments. They're going to um, reincorporate them, redesign them into the Heritage line and the good news is that the Heritage line is going to alternate between real riders and red lines or neoclassic type wheels which really is more in line with the HotWheelsCollectors.com website they always alternate their collector cars between real riders and neoclassics I don't think they'll be as nice as the Hot Wheels collectors cars of course but um, in any case, it's exciting to know that they're going to go back to real riders and redline neoclassic type wheels. And I think the castings are going to be more in line with the boulevard and uh, garage type colorways and things like that and not too wild and crazy. So just a little bit of news there in case you haven't heard. Um, you know, if you're watching this video a year from now, of course, it's already happened. But I just thought I would share that with you. I've been reading that a lot lately and it's kind of exciting because... I don't know. I think this kind of lived its, outlived its, um, you know, ran its course, and um, you can only do this for so long. And I think collectors are maybe getting tired of it. I don't know. Maybe you didn't. Maybe you liked them. Let me know. But uh, in any case, we won't be seeing the cool classics for much longer. It'll be the Heritage series, and um, looking forward to seeing what's up with that. So I'll pick those two up, and then I also was at Toys R Us, and <clears throat> not much new there except for this awesome. M2 Auto Hauler. I've been looking for this one. This is the um, Ford COE and the Mercury Turnpike Cruiser. And uh, this is the first release of it, I think. There's a second release where everything is exactly the same, I think, except the car is all red. And the top lights here, I think, were supposed to be red lensed pieces. Maybe they are on the second release, but here they're gold which is a little strange. I was thinking they were supposed to be red, but I do love the colorway of this piece and um, the blacked out white line tires. Really, really nice piece. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to crack this open, but if I do, I'll do a full review on it like we did with the Judge. But uh, that's a really nice piece. Glad to find that. Um, let's move on to mailbox finds. I finally got one of these. Boy, am I behind the curve on this. Uh, this is, uh, it's a cool casting. I mean, it's a Zamac. This is the mail-in for the Walmart rewards, race rewards, and uh, the loops you have to go through to get this in the mail, I mean, it's almost just worth buying it on eBay. Um, I've seen it really cheap for like seven or eight bucks, maybe a couple of bucks in shipping, ten bucks at most. And um, so, 
you have to buy, I don't know how many cars you have to buy, but like each basic car is, you know, a certain amount of points and you have to get 4,000 or something to get this car. So after all the, the uploading of receipts that always, you know, didn't always go so well, I had to re-upload and contact customer service a couple of times to make sure it was going through and then about two or three weeks before this thing got shipped, I don't know if it was worth all the trouble. Uh, but it's still a pretty cool car, and I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. I don't really collect the um, the mail ends per se, but it's a nice casting, and um, it's got the plastic base, of course, but it's got nice real riders on it. So it's a cool piece. But uh, if you're after this car and you're killing yourself with the race rewards, just buy it off eBay or something. I mean, unless you're just opposed to eBay, but uh, that's an okay piece, not too shabby. And then let's take a look at a couple of interesting pieces I got in the mail. Let me back up the camera here. I've been hunting this series for a while, and I guess it's just one of those things that's so old. This is from Jada, and it's the For Sale series. You can see here, Jada For Sale. Really cool packaging and really cool idea. It's really similar to the Johnny Lightning Projects in Progress series, where it was sort of the boneyard cars, where they would put rust and stuff on them and um, those came out I think in the mid 2000s and so did, so did these. These were 2007 so these were after I think the Johnny Lightning projects in progress but they picked up on the idea and decided to do a for sale series and these are pretty hard to find. They're hard to come by at a decent price. This one here is the sorry I meant to show you the car 67 Chevy Nova SS Got nice big thick tires. Of course, Jade is known for their meatier, curvier castings, similar to Maisto or Maisto. See the for sale sign there in the windshield. And uh, just a really cool idea. I wish they would do this series again or do something similar. We got the license plate in the back there. So that's the Chevy Nova, and it looks real similar to the um, Johnny Lightning. Here's the Chevy Nova 69 or 70 Nova from the Johnny Lightning series. And then you can see that uh, Jada kind of picked up on that. So similar but different at the same time. Kind of cool. And then I picked up one more. And this one is pretty neat. It's a uh, 94 Chevy Camaro. It's like a decommissioned police car. Very cool. I remember going to a few um, automobile auctions and they'd have the decommissioned of police cars. Let's see what that says in there. I can get up close enough. Something in Sons quality used cars. So it's a pretty neat series. You can see all the scratches and the the uh, insignia that's been you know uh, sanded off or whatever. And then you have a little bit of a uh, blemishes and stuff. This Corvette motor runs strong with the for sale sign got the police number on the top there see on the back it's got some writing too so if I can get you up there so you can read it pretty cool it's got some numbers on it like a good number but um, I haven't decided if I'm going to crack these I really do like them in the case in the packaging but um, there's quite a few other cars in this series and if you find any and you're not needing them let me know I'd be glad to maybe trade for some of them there's a, uh, a Datsun out there. There's also a, um, oh, a Bronco and a Volkswagen bus and some other stuff. Um, but some really cool castings, and I thought this was just a really cool idea. I wish I was collecting when these were released, but they're getting harder to find. Uh, so I picked these two up over the mail. Anyway, let me know what you think of that, and um, put any questions or comments below, and hopefully I'll be back soon with... Uh, my loot video from the Vacation Hot Wheels haul. So uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.